I'm going to draw a manga character three quintals length. For that, I'm going to use a 0.3 millimeter or 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil for accuracy. So we have ink pens measuring from 0.1 millimeter to 0.6 millimeter. Then we have felt tip pens. And here's a rubber for the big jobs. The first stage is to determine the layout of the drawing. In a rough sketch, we position the major shapes of our character, i.e. the head, the body and the limbs. We start with the torso, paying attention to the joints. We move up to the waist, we're sketching, then we move up to the position of the shoulders, the arms, and then we position the head quickly. Now we can go into detail to add what really interests me, the clothes, the face, so here are the eyes. For details like the eyes, it's better to use a 0.3 millimeter lead because it's finer. So that's the hair. So here, rather than doing lines in all directions, it's better to have a block of hair. It looks better and it's easier to do. So now we can go over initial sketch. We've got the layout of the body and we can use it to place the clothes directly onto the skeleton. And then we can still change the drawing if we want to, that can be really. It's still a stage where we can try different things, you know. Once the character's finished, we're going to start inking. For that, we got various LEDs, 0.1 millimeter for total accuracy, so that's going to be for the face or for small details like the creases or the clothes, that kind of thing. And then we're going to move up to 0.6 millimeter, 0.6 for all the outlines to have a bit more depth, in fact, for inking. And same thing here, I'm starting with the eyes, the face. We have to be really careful at this stage because if we mess up, we'll have to start the drawing again. So we have to be really accurate. We're going over the outlines, the lines of the sketch that we're happy with. There'll be a tendency to make the lines thicker as I wanted the light on the character to come from that direction. I'm going to make the lines on the other side of the light much thicker to create an impression of shadow. So we make the lines where the shadow is supposed to be thicker. To make the drawing perfect. We're going to rub out all the initial pencil marks. From bottom to top is best. The paper is fixed so we don't have to worry. There's no danger of ripping it. Now we can work on the colouring. We're careful of the ink that's still wet. Here we remember there's a light coming from the left. So leave a few areas blank to show the exposure to the light. It's best to work in the same direction at all times for consistency. We're going to make the trousers darker here, the same thing. We're going to use another felt tip pen that creates a feathering effect at the same time, or almost. The line is finer. We can imply the light by leaving a small blank strip. We can also use this pen to make certain areas darker, to intensify the shadow more. The eyes too. Afterwards, depending on what you want to do, you can add uh, color 
whatever, the clothes of the hair. The hair could be blue, green or orange, whatever you want. Here's Vesa Smut. The solution is Tipex or else ordinary correction fluid. Or uh, if you have to digitize your image for colorization, it's really easy to do in uh, Photoshop. Sur Photoshop, ça se fait aussi très bien.